with yet another DJ's Brewtube beer review. You know what, guys? If you watch DJ's Brewtube, you know my ass is a big old hop head. Look at what I've got in front of me here. Some big ass hoppy beers and some stuff behind me as well. And I said, DJ, I need a big hoppy beer tonight. And where am I going to go to get said big hoppy beer? I'm going to go to Captain Lawrence Brewing Company out of Elmsford, New York, US of A. Yay, yay. I'm going to have their Seeking Alpha Triple IPA. That's right, Triple IPA. Why is it Triple IPA? Because it's 11% ABV and 100 IBU. Now, they're saying this is a triple IPA. It's a rotating serving. But when you're at 11% ABV and 100 IBUs, you're getting into American barley wine territory there in my book. I've had two others. I've had Hopsolutely, and I think it was uh, Cascazilla from Ithaca. And that beer and the uh, um, Hopsolutely from Fegley's were two really big, boozy, basically barley wines and not so much triple IPAs. Now, in this particular beer, they've really hopped this one up. They're using Tomahawk, Mosaic, Cascade, and Citra. Now for the malt, they've only used domestic two-row. That means it's a really, I guess, sort of like tabla rasa or, or blank slate sort of malt base that's supposed to let hop shine. So I'm really interested to see what this one's going to be like. And you're saying, DJ, ain't no Captain Lawrence Brewery uh, beer distributed in Maryland. Where the hell did you get this? I got this from our good buddy Average Joe. If you don't average don't know Average Joe, what's your problem? He is the man. Of course, he doesn't put videos on his own channel, but if you'd like to see him watch do reviews, check him out on the Albino Rhinos channel. I'll put a link down here. He does awesome reviews, even though he doesn't put them up on his own channel. Anyways, thanks a million for sending this beer, Joe. Let's crack into this bad boy and tell you what's up with the Seeking Alpha Triple IPA. Mmm, nice hiss. Lovely Captain Lawrence crown. We'll obsessively collect that, of course. Got a snifter tonight because this is an 11 percenter. It deserves a snifter, doesn't it? Hell yes. All right, let's get this. Mm-hmm. I can smell the hops blasting off this bad boy all the way from here. Wowzers. Okay. We're a semi-hazy, more yellow, sort of amber color. There's a lot of sort of caramel hues coming through this also. Plenty of active bubbles coming off the bottom of the glass. We've got a solid mm, finger and three quarters head of super tight bubbles. Only a little tiny soap sudsy at the top. When I swirl this, glass lacing's already starting to grab on. I got alcohol freaking curtains coming off the side of this bad boy. Hell yes. This is a big burly beer. You can see it by looking at it. It's looking viscous, and the hops are blasting off the top of this when I, while I'm sitting here talking to you. Let's get a nose on this. I'm ready to see what this aroma is all about. Damn. Tropical fruit basket. Pineapple, mango, pine, a resounding dank tone in the background. Bit of stone fruit. Shout out to you, Kevin Clements. You like some stone fruit aroma, don't you? Anyways, not I digress. Man, no alcohol in the aroma, and there's a honey sort of sweet kind of malt resounding in the background. But tropical fruits all the way, man. I'm thirsty. This is making my mouth water. I'm diving in. Cheers, guys. Let's see what's up in the taste department. Wow. Damn. Awesome glass lazing. That is a big ass tropical blast. Man, and it's it's a big beer. When you're drinking this, I'm getting plenty of warming down the chest. I don't really taste it like booziness, but it's warm from like here all the way down to here, going down my gullet, that 11%. The hops are shining through. Just using that straight up domestic two row has allowed these hops to come out. And I'm getting pineapple, mango, the stone fruit, and maybe even like a bit of dragon fruit in there. If you've had dragon fruit, it's got sort of like a, it's hard to describe. It's its own sort of grapey, kiwi-ish type taste. But a bit of pine and then a dank sort of um, tropical bitter sort of lemon zest kind of finish. Or, or maybe orange or grapefruit zest. But wow. You know this is a big beer. I'm drinking this about probably 48 to 50 degrees right now. I had in the fridge, I'll let it come up to temperature, but this beer is no joke. You, this is not a beer to be trifled with. They sell this in four packs. There's a good reason they're selling this in four packs, so you try to session on this, and you're going to be sessioned in nappy land time. That's going to be your session, a nap on the couch or bed or wherever you decide to pass out after you pound a four pack of this bad boy. But, man, this is a tasty beer. 
for what it is, it's the best executed triple IPA I've had so far. Like I said, I've had two others that are claiming to be triple IPAs and not American barley wines. And this is the most IPA-like of them all because the hops are really showcasing this. And I'm, I'm impressed with this beer. For being an 11 percenter, usually I don't like to drink my DIPAs and big hoppy beers. I like them in that like 8 to maybe like 10 percent range. I mean, they could even maybe dial this back a half a percent and it might even let more hops shine through because... Man, I'm still talking, and my chest still feels warm. Like I said, I don't taste alcohol like big or anything. It's not a boozy tasting beer like I'm pounding a shot. But, man, if there wasn't as much hops in this beer, there's no way you'd keep that that like booze flavor and the big alcohol that's in this beer in check. So, what do we give a grade bit like this? A beer a grade like this, you know? Or a grade a beer like this? I'm, like geeking out this beer is like racking my brain here man i can't even talk right anymore great beer is given a 96 i can see that happening for what it is and beer advocates given a um 89 it's better than 89 i think because if you haven't had other triple ipas you haven't had the experience of drinking one that misses the mark and this is like i said the closest to hitting that mark because it's man it's even got a nice medium like like a full-on medium not medium full but full-on medium mouthfeel to it and, like I said, the tropical fruits in this are quite pleasant. So, like I said, what do we grade this? I'm going to give this a 95. I think it's an A beer for what it is. If you don't like boozier beers or bigger beers, this is not the beer for you. If you don't like hops up in your grill, balancing out that booze, this is not the beer for you. Because the malt bill and the malt in this beer is not the not the you know star of the show and they said this is a beer that was made by hop heads for hop heads and that's no shit that's true joe thanks a million for sending this this is a cool ass beer i had no clue this was coming but like i said the beer not this beer is not for the faint of heart if you're not in for a big ipa and a big hop and booze experience this isn't for you so if you had this let me know what you think of it i haven't seen any reviews on it i'll post this up i don't know if anybody else has reviewed it on on, on video brew tube land so till the next time guys thanks a million to each and every one of you for watching and i'd really appreciate it if you think globally drink locally and support the craft beer movement so we can keep having cool entities unto its own like this beer is to be created because that diversity is why we keep coming back and keep drinking or because we like the alcohol hmm but that's more of a personal question, isn't it? Anywho, the next DJ's brew tube. I got nothing but a bunch of love for you and a big ass, big beer drinking tonight. Peace out.